Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Last time we went to the Kappa mining, si uh, mining site and we came up here to the Glacial Basin and found the Frozen Leviathan and we kind of sort of figured out what happened to Sam and uh, Parvin as well was unfortunately killed in this cave and on the table here there was a PDA, which I already picked up, but it's... Patrol right. log, yeah. excavation site, day 33, morning. I thought I saw something moving on the screen, but it was just that I sneezed. Wiped it off. Fred's not convinced the Leviathan is really dead. But I've never even seen it blink. <laughs> Nevertheless, I am now undertaking the mandatory foot patrol. Inside the cave, confirming a whole lot of nothing. Creatures still dead. Cave still boring. I miss the mining site. At least you could talk to people. Oh, wait now. What's this? A rock! I found an interesting rock. That makes three this week. The others will be happy to have a friend. Concluding <laughs> patrol. Perimeter secured. Nothing to report. End log. And on this table, we have a necklace. This was Sam's necklace. She never took it off. So basically, what happened is, uh, Sam came in here with a bomb from Marguerite. And she was just going to... Was accompanied by significant destruction. Doesn't make any sense. She would never destroy a base. Well, baselessly. Are you feeling as confused? I am detecting more than one. I don't know. I, I feel... disillusioned? Worried? I thought I knew Sam better than I really did. When we were kids, I was always the one breaking and rebuilding things. She wouldn't even go into a bake sale without a plan. For classic oatmeal cookies, no less. So serious. She wouldn't have anything to do with my molecularly transformed caramel pretzel lumps. Your mind goes easily to food. To distract you from your feelings. Okay, I think that's enough mind reading for now. This wasn't negligence. That's not Sam. This was something else. She came in here with the bomb from Marguerite, intending to blow up the entrance and close it off to access, but uh, it seems like Parvin kind of followed her in to see what she was doing and then accidentally set it off, which killed both of them, which is a real shame. Uh, I mean, we already knew Sam was gone, but now we know Parvin also died because of the whole thing, so that is a darn shame. Um, but we can start scanning different bits of the creature here. So we have frozen leviathan claws. Uh-huh. Uh, prawn suit down there, but there's nothing on it. They were trying to excavate further, it looks like. But then we can go up this lift right over here, too. Elevator. It is very cool. <clears throat> and as we go here, we get free fiber mesh and synthetic fibers, which is great. I need to make some room. Oh crap. Uh, what are we gonna drop? Uh, huh. Um, I guess. I guess we'll drop a water? Which sounds crazy, but, um, yeah, we need those synthetic fibers for sure. And here is the creature itself. So we're gonna scan the skull now. Who's Leviathan skull? Lots of room for a brain, but it's mostly bone and fat. <laughs> then this is the, the real mystery here, Kara Infection push, push tool. So, yeah. Raider Hunter is somewhat lower than that widespread uh, outbreak previously reported. Mm-hmm. And then we have this little guy, too. Insert sample requires injectable container to function. And we'll come back to that later. So we'll have to come back here at least one time, but as we hop on top here, got some ladders to climb. Uh, get the scanner back out. Um, okay, I guess there's nothing left to scan here. Let's go back down. Carefully. And, well, uh, you know what? We're fine. <laughs> We're totally fine. Scan the teeth. And then we have the rest of the document on the frozen leviathan as well. Found this thing buried in the glacier, gave someone a hell of a fright. Turns out it was walking around a thousand years ago and it fell through the ice. It was infected with a Kara bacterium. 
And, uh, yeah. Rare specimens like these provide our only live source. So they were definitely trying to research this guy. But that's kind of all we can do here for now. So we're going to go back down and head on out. Um, unfortunately, our inventory is full, which provides a bit of a problem. But I think we can work around it. Ooh, excuse me. Um, the plan now is... You may remember, I think there was one where she... I think we heard... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we heard it from Marguerite's greenhouse. There was one... There was a log where Sam said she stashed it in a cave, basically. No turning... Was it this one? I don't think I have a choice to do... do I've sent... Uh, I know I stashed it away in one of the Pangolin Research Caves, southeast of the Leviathan. Of the Leviathan. So, if we go and find our map again, that is that red circle down there. So we need to head that way, find the antidote that she stashed, or the... Yeah, I guess the antidote kind of works. It's... it's I think that's even the term they use, but Parvin's door mysteriously closed, <laughs> closed itself. So <clears throat> let's go get that antidote. That's why we need at least a little bit of space in our inventory here. But <clears throat> I'm not going to turn down some free synthetic fibers, so I definitely want to keep those. So southeast, about that way, ish. We'll find it. It's pretty easy to find. But if we go a little more south first, there's a little little base over here, or a little little platform with some stuff. I think there is at least one Snowstalker walking around out here too, so I'm going to keep my eyes open. Uh, it looks like these glow plants also grow upwards above the ice, which is Dangerous cool. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek oh, shelter. come on. I need to get bare minimum stuff here. Uh... Uh, let's see, Snowfox Jump Module. That's very cool. Let's take that. I'm good on Fiber Mesh now. Oh, free Power Cell. Eh, very tempting, but I don't really need it. What I really need is to get to some shelter. Okay, let's go. Oh boy. I thought I saw a cave. Was it right here? Ah. Go, go, go. Yes. Whew. Okay, there may be a Snowstalker in this cave. But I hope not. No, we're good. All right, we're gonna hang out here for a little bit. Huh. All right. So, yeah, we are well and truly full. Hmm. I'm gonna need to drop one of these nutrient blocks or one of the first aid kits or both. I don't want to leave a power cell behind, man. Power cells are friggin' sweet. Well, hold on. We've got the prawn suit and the sea moth or the sea truck in this game. Um, we've already got both of those. They already have two power cells each, so that's four. I've got two in my inventory, so that's six. I plan on making some ion power cells, so I don't really need the, uh, additional power cell, I guess. It's cool, and it is very valuable, but I don't really need it at the end of the day. So I'm gonna keep heading this way. Southeast-ish. Yeah, I hear ya. Whatever you are, there's the moon. The moon looks nice. I hear ya. Is this like the overlooking the cave where we came in from? Mm, no. no, this is something else. It's a different place here. Need to find the antidote. Where is it? This is another spot where, like, I kinda sorta know where I'm going. But not that well. So, kinda just fumbling my way through here. Let's see, I think there's a probably. Oh, there's a Snowstalker baby! Who won't attack me, but the adult definitely will. Back ye! Back ye, fellow beast! Baby's sleeping. Let the baby sleep. It's not mealtime yet. Um, nothing up here but some loose fur lying around if you didn't uh, do this pipe angling method. So that's that's another alternative for you. But we're going to leave now, since I don't really need to be in there. For anything too specific, uh, we're going to go down this way. Oh, there's another snowstalker there. Hmm, oh, here's a cave. There's a vent here. 
There's a snow stalker there who's going to want to come and say hi. And by say hi, I mean, of course, eat me. So I'm going to try to stand close to the flare that stays put, and it won't. Oh, that's good enough. That should be enough to keep him away from me. I hope. Let's put this guy down. We're going to stand next to the vent to keep us warm periodically when it actually goes. Is this enough to keep you at bay, sir? Yes, I guess it is. I need this vent to... There we go. Alright. While that flare is still lit, let's go. Was this this the spot? Oh, this is the spot. Nice. Found it. So, we got to do a little bit of a tightrope here to get over to the crate, but there it is. Antidote. Sam must have stashed Bam. this here. And there it is. She Let's was going to use this antibacterial agent to neutralize the bacterium. Indeed. Head back out here. Hi. Oh, you're getting a little close there, bud. I don't appreciate this. Oh, there's two of them now. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna hold one of these in my hand. My inventory's full now. Oh crap. Uh, uh, drink some water. The flare. Back up. Back up. There you go. All right. Yeah, get out of here. All right, we're gonna go back straight to the cave and use this antidote. I guess we'll get rid of that. Hurrah! Once and for all, at least as far as we've, as far as Altera has discovered so far, we're gonna get rid of it. Oh, I hope that vent keeps blowing for a little bit so I can use it. Just a little, just a little, please. There we go. Better than nothing. Oh, okay. That wasn't much. Oh, this one. This one's also probably gonna stop right after I get to it. Nope. Oh, all right. Nice. Okay, let's head back to that cave. Can I see the tower? No, because it hasn't loaded in. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the poppin' in this game. It's its a little silly. There it is. I can see it now. Just barely. Just barely peeking through the trees. Alright, let's head back to that Leviathan. That little place where it told us to insert the sample. And uh, I guess we'll finally deal with the Kara once and for all. Alright, back here at the Leviathan, we're going to head up our elevator here, back up to the top. Have the antidote with us, go to the little cart here, and slot it in, insert antidote. Doing this one last thing for Sam. I feel like I got some closure. My people do not experience endings as you do. Do humans feel joy in realizing that you've reached the end of something? Sometimes. Closure is a sense of resolution. Like, knowing that even though it still hurts, it'll be okay. I did what I came to do. I found out what really happened to her, and I got to finish her work. I learned a little bit more about the person I've looked up to for, well, my whole life. I wish I'd told her that more. Sam always wanted to make a difference. She wanted the bacteria contained to keep everyone safe. I'm grateful to give her that. I just wish I could have said goodbye. And there is the conclusion of uh, one of the stories here. So there's kind of two stories going on. There's Sam and Robin's story, and then there's uh, Alan and Robin's story, and that's that's pretty much it for Sam's story, I believe. Um, in my opinion, it's a little bit anticlimactic. Um, I was hoping for, I guess, a bigger reveal. They even don't really explicitly say what happened to Sam. Uh, a bomb went off, 
and, and you know the bomb that Marguerite gave her, but they don't really give you any hints as to exactly how. It could have been Parvin walked in on her and, and set it off on accident, or something. But that's, I mean, that's we don't really know. Um, so when she said like I found out what happened to my sister, it's like not really, but yeah. I don't know. I, I was hoping for a slightly different conclusion, I guess, but eh, it's alright. Um, so that's that part of the story done, really. Now, we could head back the way we came over to the east there, but you may have noticed on the map there's like a dock over here to the, uh, the southeast? South, Southeast-ish? Yeah, southeast. Um, close to where we got that spy pangling, so we're gonna go over there, actually and dive into the water. And yeah, now let me look again. That is all from, okay, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> We're gonna head back that way and uh, head to that water and dive in and I'll show you guys another cool way to get here that I discovered, which I think is neat. Um, I'm gonna stop off in this cave though and get some heat, get some warmth, because I'm gonna need it. Ah, right. Uh, inventory is still kind of full, but eh, it's alright. Fill up our temperature gauge and continue. Um, I'm trying to remember, because we didn't, I mean, we were over here a second ago, obviously, but I didn't see that dock. So I'm trying to remember exactly where it is, but it's over here somewhere. Kind of heading east. We're supposed to be going, like, southeast, but it... Hopefully, okay, that's the big cave with the little ones, juvenile guys. Um, should be right around here. See, that part's frozen. There's a cave over there. I guess we can head for that cave. Oh, the Snowstalkers swim, by the way. <laughs> I forgot to mention that, but they do swim, at least a little. Um, there's some light sticks going this way, so there must be something over here, right? To some extent, let's go check it out. We got a whole bunch of big green emeralds. We got a little raised section here. Oh look, some storage boxes. We got more fiber mesh. Don't need it anymore. Lubricant, med kit. <clears throat> we are good to go with all that stuff. So we're gonna go around this way. See where this leads. Ah, back out here. Okay, yeah, across from the. Yeah, all right. That's all well and good, but we're going to get back in the cave and continue going the way we were. Um, I think we're going to hop into that water. I'm going to switch the battery on this now so it doesn't die when I'm trying to swim away from a snowstalker real quick. Um, that's the cave where we got the antidote. I just noticed that one up there. We might try to go up there and get that one too. Although, I don't see... I didn't see like a, a steam vent or anything to stand next to there, so maybe we can't. Or, or we'll have to make it a quick trip, at least. Uh, what do we see? Quartz, some silver and stuff. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm not gonna be able to, like, take any of that with me anyway, so... There's that cave, and there's this cave, which I don't think connects, but it could be wrong. Let's go find out, because I'm curious. It is a different cave. And is there also a snowstalker in here? Yes, there is. Okay, flare out. We're just gonna, yep, keep you at bay. Oh, I don't really want to jump down there. There's some water to get in, though. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, this is the this is the way. This is the way right here. I believe. Yeah, there's the dock. Cool. All right. Now, oh yeah, you can also go underneath there. There's a bit of stuff over there. So yeah, I got a flare. I know you're not gonna do nothing about this about the fact that I'm here. Uh, more snow fox fragments if you still need it. We're going to make that probably a little later in this episode. Um, but I want to go over here. Find a ladder. There we go. Ladder for a safe way down. As more storage boxes. We have another flare and a nutrient block. And some fiber mesh. And some water. Uh, oh, and a PDA. Cool. Stock up on flares. Hello, Eloise. Eloise. To Quartermaster Joe, I, I almost just died, man. I was chilling on the outskirts, blah de blah. This is basically where the game um, tells you, like, hey, by the way, in case you haven't figured it out, uh, flares will keep the snowstalkers away. So that's good to know. 
I figured it out, I think, by reading, I was, while I was looking up how to get Snowstalker fur, uh, it mentioned in there that you can use Flare to keep them at bay, so that's how I figured it out, or learned it. I shouldn't say figured it out, because I didn't really figure it out, I read it, but, anyways. Um, yeah, so there's this little dock here, which is kind of nice, and the box, more fiber mesh, give you plenty of that. And if you go down here, we do have the rebreather equipped, we do, okay. I think it's this, well, maybe it's this way, I think it's this way. This is another way out to the rest of uh, the game world, I guess you could say. Um, ugh, no, I missed it. Okay. Um, it's a kind of a long swim, which is why you definitely want to have the rebreather and a sea glide, because if you don't, you're, you're going to have a really hard time making it. But there's another little spot here with an ion cube that I actually forgot about, so I'll definitely take that. And we're going to keep going here. But this is, it's a bit of a long swim, so you don't want to dilly-dally too much, or you'll die. <laughs> and then it's a long swim back to get any of your stuff. Now, what is in this little cave? I gotta know. More ore vans. Okay, alright. Had to, had to know. There's some oxygen things you can cut open around here if you have your laser cutter with you. But other than that, if you don't have your laser cutter with you, you could be in trouble. There's some small jellyfish here. Oh, no, it's a creature egg. Oh, it's probably a creature egg for the jellyfish, huh? Now, if I... Uh, if I find a way to use up some space... No, they're still too big. Okay, so those must be 2x2 um, two two, uh, creature eggs. In terms of their size, anyways. Oh, more ore veins. Okay, I'm getting a little too distracted here. I need to keep moving. There we go. That's the way. I'm going to be heading towards these big crazy eye jellyfish guys, I forget what they're called. I don't remember what they're called. I, nope, alright. I'm not gonna try to scan you, because I know you can sting me, which I don't want. So, we're already down to half oxygen here, as you can see. This is, like I said, it's it's kind of a long swim. Uh, you don't want to waste too much time, even with the right equipment. But if you keep going, it kind of opens up, eventually. And then it really opens up. If you go back around to the to your left, towards the north, you can get back to the original dock that we started on. Hello, that was a big shock from that little, from that little fish there. That was interesting. There was a huge spark from that boomerang fish. I don't know what that was about. But this is another way back to the surface, and it's a way into the middle of the gla uh, glacial basin if you want. You can bring a sea truck and, like, a couple modules, but if you make the sea truck too long, you're not going to be able to fit through all that area. So, that is one option. Um, but we're pretty much done with that half of... Well, that I guess that whole bit of the glacial basin, that's, that's pretty much it for that side. And that's pretty much it for Sam's story. So, there we go. We need to put some stuff away because we have a lot of crap. Fiber mesh. Actually, I'm gonna construct my cold suit pretty much right away here. So we'll put all that away. Put this away. We got a free advanced wiring kit, which I think I forgot to point out in there. But yeah, that's that's pretty great. Um, I need to get a little bit of snow real quick and just make those water purification tablets into water before I forget. So let's go do that real quick. But we're gonna be taking off here pretty soon too. Snow, snow. Right, now we go ahead and use those up. Uh-huh. And we're gonna hop back in. Hi, don't sting me, please. Okay, and what else? Oh, not that. Ooh, that should be good for now. Let's, what do I have in here? Just some water, that's fine. Uh, fabricator, here we go. We go here, here, and we're gonna make the cold soup. Which I think will auto equip on us immediately because we're not we already wearing anything. It gets large microfiber and insulated with an alpine yoke around the neck and shoulders. The cold suit is designed to delay the onset of hypothermia. Important note there it says delay, not stop. So, with the full suit, I'll show you guys here in a second when we have it all crafted. It doesn't completely stop the cold from getting to you, but it does help. 
So the cold suit helmet is 20%, it's cold resistance, the suit itself is 50, and the gloves are 10. So you're still not impervious to cold, but it helps a lot. So we're going to keep the rebreather on, and keep everything else on for now, although I'm going to put this cold suit helmet back in there, because we don't need that right now. And it's time to go back to base, and we're going to get what we need to go through the rest of this whole um, area here. So we need to make, well we don't need to make, but it'll help a lot. We want to make the snow fox, and we need to make the hydraulic fluid to extend the bridge across. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much the next step. Let me get where's my pencil here. I need to cross off some stuff here. We've done Kappa, and we've done Glacial Basin and Leviathan, Frozen Leviathan. So there, we just cross those off. Next up is the <clears throat> Snow Fox and the Icy Spires. And so I'm gonna go get the materials we need. In fact, I'll go ahead and pin these right now. Um, what you need to make the Snow Fox is you need the hover platform because that's where you actually build it. So go and find that in your blueprints here with your habitat builder. So there's the hover pad and the Snow Fox and we need to make the um, hydraulic fluid too, which is somewhere there, right there. And for that you need gel sacks. So it's not hard to make, it's just the gel sacks. If you haven't been deep enough in the game yet, you won't find those yet. So uh, yeah, pretty easy parts list, I think. And we're gonna go and uh, go make it happen at base here. All right, so I've got everything I need. Uh, I need to get back in the truck here. I've got the hydraulic fluid right there. I've got everything I need to make the Snow Fox and its bits. So I'm gonna hop back in here. This is fully charged already? Might be. It is, nice. I'm gonna back out of here carefully. And we're gonna head back up to the same place. Fire Robotics Landing Pad. Whoa, hello. I've never seen this site before. Look at this, this is cool. They're trying to grow some ruined lands and stuff. I've never seen this. This is cool. I think this is here. Where's this? Relative to, okay. All right, so, huh. Very interesting. I've never, ever seen this place before. Cool, there's a box here. What's in the box? Water? Okay, you know what? I need that. All right, we'll need that. All right, cool, I had no idea. Neat little, neat little sidetrack for a second. <laughs> and here we are back at the dock. So we're gonna hop up, we're gonna hop out. And, ooh, do I have the rest of my cold suit? Nope, we want that. Don't need the rebreather anymore, so I'm gonna take that off, put it in here, and just leave it behind. In fact, I don't think we'll need the sea glide either, so I'm gonna put that in there some extra space, and uh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, first things first. Uh, we're gonna get up here, and we're gonna get our habitat builder on our hotbar. Sure, right there, because why not? And we need to make our snow fox hover pad, which I always like to put kind of like here-ish. There we go, and now we can build Snow Fox. And I'm very excited for this. Now, you may have remembered from last time, or this time? Recently, anyways, <laughs> we got a Snow Fox Jump module, which sounds really cool and awesome, but what I can tell you from experience is that it kind of sucks. You only jump, like, a few inches off the ground. It's really worthless. Your jump... The jump on the Snow Fox is about as useful as Robin's jump. It's really... It's really bad. So, but anyways, we have Snow Fox. We have a hover bike. And it looks awesome, and I apparently used a low battery thing to build it. That's okay, because if you dock it back on the pad, it just magically charges it some more. So that's, yeah, hooray. <laughs> um, another good thing about the Snow Fox is it keeps you warm while you're on it, so you don't have to worry about that. Let's unpin those things. While that charges, why don't we head over here and extend the bridge with our hydraulic fluid? So... Like I said, it was just four gel sacks and a creep vine seed cluster. Super easy to make. There is something of significance beyond this bridge. It was important to Ulterra, but more important to me. 
Will it help us build mm -hmm. your body? I believe so, yes. Indeed. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put that in there. Maintenance access. And now, we can extend the bridge. And thankfully, it can break off the ice on its own. We don't have to go and help it with that, too. There we go. We have a bridge. Bridge over the water. And from this bridge, we can go over here start finding some very important things, but what you'll notice... I'm sensing interesting patterns to the northeast. It would be worth investigating. But be careful. Of what? I recall ravenous creatures tunneling beneath the ice. Aha. Uh -huh. Ice worms. You couldn't... I guess you couldn't hear anything with my controller, but... There it is. <laughs> my controller vibrated there as if they're coming to get us. And they probably are. But not here. Not yet. But we'll deal with them in a little bit. Um, we got some more boxes to look at here. Okay, some more, more water. I'm going to need that. We always need more water. Just one of those things, you know. I for, speaking of water, I forgot to pull water out of the water filtration system back at the base. Um, before I set off, but whatever. It's okay. We'll make it work. We can get through all of this. And I think, yeah, right over here. This is where we're trying to get. There's another little, another little small site here. Now, unfortunately, there is not a map for this area. And uh, if there's anywhere you want a map, it's here. But uh, we don't we don't have that benefit today, or on, on this part of the game. So, yeah, just gonna have to make a do. But uh, nothing else up here, I guess. So let's hop onto the platform itself. Med kit, PDA, thumper batteries. This is like a whole other crew that was over here working on this stuff. So, and then here is the data box for the thumper, which keeps the ice worms at bay while we are trying to explore and stuff. But only within a certain radius, so we're going to have to kind of keep picking it up and moving it along with us. Um, we have another PDA here. Tunnels. More stuff you can pause to read and, uh, if you like. Or pause and read if you like. Nothing much down here either, just a whole bunch of silver and things like that. Which I actually will take because I realized when I got back to base I needed a wiring kit for that hover pad, but I was out of silver entirely, so I had to go get some. And I only got the two for the wiring kit because I didn't want to waste a whole bunch of time, so yeah, I'm gonna take all the silver back to the sea truck since we gotta go back there and build our thumper anyways. Which speaking of, we can go and pin that blueprint. Wherever it is. Uh, it's a tool, I think. It is a tool, yeah. Right there. Oh, look, magnetite. Good thing I have some of that in the sea truck still. <laughs> uh, is there water down there? There is, but I don't really like my chances. Is it deep enough? That looks deep enough right there. Okay, and here's why I want to do that. One, it's faster to get back to the sea truck, but two... Oh, I hope this is deep enough. Yeah, okay. Uh, the second reason I wanted to do that is because if we come over here, we can get up on the shoreline here on either side and go, like, under the bridge. But if we go this way, I might have found this already way back in an early episode, I can't remember, but... Uh, if you go over here, on the in case we haven't already found this, you can see this site another site. Is some significance. Its data will assist us on our quest. Yes, we have Okay, I guess we have been here. That's fine. Uh, we must have gotten here in like an early episode. But there's that. I wanted to show it off again just in case I forgot to get it before. In case, uh, yeah. So there's that. And this doesn't help you get up to where we just were because it only goes under the bridge. You can see. And it doesn't wrap around. So this is not like a shortcut to skip the hydraulic fluid step. You still need that. And oh boy, don't get stuck. Oh, don't get stuck. Oh no, really? Huh. Huh. Get out! Yes, I can do it! Aha! I got out! Um, put the sea glide away, I think. Yeah. Oh, come on. Keep up with me. There we go. It's a pet peeve of mine when games can't keep up with my button inputs, like in a menu or something. If I can click around faster than the menu can respond, that's really annoying. Let me know in the comments if you're that way too, because that drives me nuts. Like. The game should be faster than me. I hate waiting for animations and stuff to finish. When it comes to menus, anyways, it's just, like, why? 
All right, Thumper, we are going to... Nope, oh, Cat is coming to join us. Grab a piece of Magnetite, like this. We're gonna slot that in Fabricator with the other stuff. Make our Thumper. Used by miners and researchers to explore perilous environments, the Thumper creates a steady source of noise that might repel unwanted creatures by amplifying collision sound waves. Mm-hmm. And, uh, there we go. So, we're gonna use the Thumper and the Snow Fox to explore the icy spires and avoid the ice worms, but all that in the next episode of Subnautica Below Zero. Thank you very much for watching this one. I hope you've enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next video.